Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and today I want to talk about entry doors to motorhomes. Now, I'm going to show you the way mine works, but keep in mind that there are a number of different styles of entry doors to motorhomes, so yours may vary from mine, of course. And first, I want to talk about the main lock. The main lock works pretty well. It prevents this from opening at all. Now, if you close it just lightly, it doesn't close all the way. You will see quite a bit of a gap here. But if you really slam it hard, then it closes all the way and you can't get the key in there at all it completely closes off that gap so if you're gonna leave your motorhome you want it locked you want it secure make sure you slam it hard enough that you get a full closing and the next thing is the deadbolt now the deadbolt has a different key than the main lock. Another thing about this deadbolt is that if you lock the deadbolt only and do not lock the main lock, then when you open it, it comes open quite a bit. You can see a quite large size gap right here. And that would seem to indicate that there's something wrong with the lock. And I talked to my dealer about that, and he says not. And we looked at a completely different brand of motorhome, and it did the same thing. And the reason it's doing that is because... The deadbolt that I showed you before that comes out right here being so small of a deadbolt and what it goes into right here is so large it's just putting a small piece of metal into a very large opening and that's why it won't stay completely shut. So, what that means is that you never want to lock the deadbolt only and not lock the main lock. Because if you do that, then that's going to happen. And if you're nearby, I guess it's not going to make any difference. But if you're going to be gone for a while when you're out shopping or hiking or wherever you're going, if someone were to just come by and pull that and if they happen to have a crowbar or maybe even just a large screwdriver with them, <laughs> that might attempt them to do a break-in. And another thing about these deadbolts is it may not be much of a deadbolt. My deadbolt, you can see here, it looks bigger than it is. It's really only about a quarter of an inch wide. It's not much of a deadbolt and it's kind of loose. So it is not going to be really secure. There's room here where it could be much larger and I don't know why but they make these things so small. And where it goes into is this big area here so that deadbolt could be like four times as thick and have a much stronger locking mechanism to where it would be a lot more reliable so look on yours and see how well the deadbolt works and the reason for using both the regular lock 
the main lock and the deadbolt is because they use different keys and the reason they use different keys is that there is a limited combination of key cutouts and this key has a four digit number on it and this key also has a four digit number on it and I've heard that is because there are 9,999 different key combinations so if you lose your keys you can go to your dealer and say I need another copy of key number 4287 or whatever yours might happen to be that's not mine but that's just a random number that way you don't have to change your locks if you lose your keys because changing this lock while this thing is locked <laughs> I don't know I can't imagine how difficult that would be to do they would somehow have to pry the door open I suspect so you don't want to get that position. So write down the numbers on your main key and your deadbolt. And the reason why there's two different keys is to give you twice as many combinations. So with 999 different combinations here and there, if you do the calculation, I think it's like 100 million different key combinations both of them added together now another thing you want to look at is the seal around your door now this is the right side of my door and the seal here is really tight it's really tight all the way down However, on the right side, at the top, you can see how tight it is there, where the door meets the jam. However, as you go down, it gets a lot wider. Now, you can't get a key in here. It's just a little wider. But as you go further down, it widens quite a bit at the bottom and I can stick my key in here and so obviously you can also easily get a crowbar in there to pry this door open now the general idea is that keys and locks keep honest people honest somebody wants to break into your motorhome they can do it especially if they're a professional thief as opposed to just some kids and I've also heard that a cordless electric drill can open any lock in about 30 seconds so if someone knows what they're doing they can get in if they want to get in either by breaking the lock or just getting a crowbar and finding a space where there's a big gap and opening it up. I also have a security system. So if someone does happen to break in, either from this front door or a window or someplace, my security system will scream bloody murder. Now another issue is about the screen door. This is what's normally supposed to happen. When you open the door, the screen door comes with it. But I have found about half the time when I open the door, you see there, the screen door didn't come along with it. So quite often, I have to open the door twice. I open the main door, and then I also have to uh, open the screen door. And that gets really annoying <laughs> to have to open my door twice to get in. 
and I found that the fault is that this latch does not come down far enough here to get a good grip on this lever and I've had my dealer look at it and he agreed that it's not a good design but he hasn't been able to figure out any way of fixing it so I just kind of have to put up with that and what I do in the winter when I never leave my screen door open is that I take one of these little metal plastic twist ties and I twist it around here to force these two to stay together so that I never have this problem where I have to open my door twice but then in the spring when I like to have my main door open and the screen door closed I take the twist ties off and then I have to put up with the screen door not coming open along with the main door like I said maybe about half the time and one more thing is when I'm driving my motor home at highway speeds I hear a lot of wind noise coming from this corner and I haven't really determined if the problem is gaps along the door or if the wind noise is coming from this vent here or where it's coming from it's just really hard to tell and I know a lot of other people with the same model of motorhome that I have have reported the same problem they hear that wind noise the funny thing is when I open this window just a few inches then the wind noise stops so somehow the wind that is coming in somewhere over here it's finding its way out there and the wind noise stops and I have not found a solution to that problem although I am going to try and do what other people have said they have done and put weather stripping around their door and see if that helps so those are the issues regarding the entry door like I said your problems may vary you may have an entry door that works just perfect if you do congratulations folks and good day